Good morning. Today we are going to discuss about that finding of Hershey and Chase experiment that led them to decide that DNA is the genetic material. So to understand the finding, we have to understand the experiment they performed. So to perform the experiment, two standard flask was taken by Hershey and Chase and in the standard flask they had nutrient medium to grow the phage and the bacteria and the nutrient medium had radioisotope sulfur in one flask and radioisotope phosphor in another flask. The bacteria and the virus were added to the medium so this is the bacteria and this is the virus so what will happen is that in the medium the bacteria the bacteria will have its own uh, nucleus or the chromosome i mean because it is a does not have a nucleus the t2 phage will have its own nucleus which will infect the bacterial nucleus and it will form T2 phages inside the bacterial host cell. So, the principle that is tested here is that sulfur is part of the protein and it is found in the viral capsid or protein coat. And phosphor is part of the DNA, so it will bind to the viral DNA. So what will happen is that now we will subject after incubation when both the flask have enough bacteria and phage grown, we will subject both the flask contents into a blender two times separately so that the bacteria is separated from the T2 phage. And this process is done for 10 minutes. And further to this, they are put to subjected to centrifugation so that in the centrifugation tube there is formation of a supernatant that is the liquid material and pellet. The pellet will have the bacteria and the supernatant will have the virus so the flask in which there was uh, the radioisotope sulfur will now have the viral protein coats in the supernatant and so the radioisotope will be in the supernatant and the flask that had phosphor in its uh, DNA will be with the bacteria and so it will be found in the pellet also. So this shows that the genetic material is DNA as it has phosphor. 
So this is the experiment performed by Hershey and Chase that showed that DNA is the genetic material. In the given options, we talk about the enzyme DNAs. DNAs enzyme will hydrolyze the DNA by breaking the phosphodiester bond. So this enzyme is not used in the experiment and so it has no role and that is why the impact of the DNA enzyme more on the DNA than on the protein is seen here is also wrong. So both the options are wrong and the next option that spoke about plasmolysis of phage does not happen because the phage will only lyse the bacteria when enough phage particles have replicated until then it does not lyse the bacteria and this does not impact on the protein or DNA of the virus it is more of the bacteria and the virus and the next option that they discovered uh, that they discussed is of the phage uh, releasing its DNA into the bacteria or in the solution so that the DNA will get uh, degraded this uh, do not happen by blending because uh, the blender time will only separate 32 phage and uh, uh, bacteria but does not release the enzyme it needs some specific receptors uh, to happen in vitro so the last option to discuss is that the different experiments that is the experiment performed by Hershey and Chase showed that the isotope uh, phosphor and uh, sulfur were showed that uh, phosphor was found in the nucleic acid and sulfate was found in the proteins and that is the finding that told us DNA is the genetic material. So thus in uh, today's uh, topic uh, we discussed about what in Hershey and chase experiment finding that led us to conclude dna as the genetic material and we found that the use of radioisotope phosphor and sulfur show that dna is the genetic material because it took phosphor and sulfur was part of the protein and so it was not seen as in the nucleic acid of bacteria so thank you for uh, attending today's topic and we will see you again in another topic